if you guys play my team and you're sick and tired of opening packs that you never get any players that you want from, I recommend just going to golddar.com and using the code NS for a discount to purchase MT and just buying the player that you wanted from the packs. Golda is a cheap and reliable company that will give you your MT. It's an amazing site, man. Use NS for a discount and let's get on to the video. And here we are, opening night of the new NBA season. Every club at this point can be optimistic. Some teams just looking to make the playoffs, others with much higher aspirations, Kenny. Yeah, well, some people would say that you can start with a clean slate. But then certain people are saying, we're building off of last year. So this is a continuation. But whatever happened last year to some of those teams who didn't get their, reach their goals, they just can wash it out and start. But there are certain teams saying, yes, we are who we were last year, and watch who we are this year. <laughs> Alright, what's good everyone? Welcome to a new episode of the Indiana Pacers My GM series. Now, the reason why I hopped into a game, not even hopped in, the reason why I'm just playing a game in this episode is because I wanna I wanna test out this team. I wanna see who played well, who didn't, who to trade, who to keep, things like that. PG, he's buckets. You already know. Paul George is obviously the superstar of the team. He has to carry the team before we kind of get some better players, if that makes any sense. I think that, you know, after this game, you're going to see who played well. I'm not even going to give any hints. You're going to see who played well, and it's going to be quite obvious. CJ Miles from downtown, this boy has a 93-point shot. He's buckets. We already know that. CJ Miles and Paul George, they are, I mean, Clay Thompson, Steph Curry, they're the Splash Brothers. I don't know what Paul George and CJ Miles are, but they both have a three-point shot of a 90, which is pretty cool. That's pretty high, so... Yeah, the man Kenneth Fareed, we picked him up last episode and he puts in work this episode. I mean, Kenneth Fareed, people were underestimating this man's ability. He is a pick and roll player. He is a guy that when he played for Denver, nobody, no Denver Nugget ever ran a play for Kenneth Fareed. Now that he's on the Indiana Pacers, we're not necessarily going to run plays for him as PG slams it down. We're not necessarily going to run plays for him. But we're going to do a lot of pick and rolls with Kenneth Fareed. And then hopefully throughout this season, I adjusted his training so that he works on his mid-range shot. Because that's really what I... That, that's kind of what I want to see out of Kenneth Fareed. I want him to gain a mid-range shot. Because if he does, it's over. I mean, look at this. This is the pick and roll game that Kenneth Fareed has. Every... Look, I'm just going to keep going to it. Because they literally cannot stop it. They double team the ball handler. Which leaves Kenneth Fareed wide open every time. Kenneth Fareed driving in right there. Dishes it off. Dishes it off right there. Hill from downtown. That was a hill to hill connection right there. Jordan Hill to George Hill. You know how many times they're going to get these guys confused. I apologize already. Like I haven't got them confused yet. But I know I will eventually. So when that time happens I apologize. Because <laughs> uh, it's... We have, a, we have three heels on this team. Somebody commented that in the last episode. We have Solomon Hill, George Hill, and... Uh, Solomon Hill, George Hill, and Jordan Hill. So, yeah, we got a lot of heels on this team. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get one of these guys confused one time. But, yeah, as you can see, tied game right now. We get an easy dunk right there with the man, CJ Miles. He put in work in this episode. I was surprised. You know, I didn't think CJ Miles can dunk like that. Look at PG getting with that crossover behind the back, going inside, and the foul. Paul George flexing on him like LeBron. This is what you want to see from your MVP caliber player. Paul George, monster of a man, beast of a man. This guy is going to lead this team, and he's going to put in some work. Now, with two seconds left, I tried to get a buzzer beater, and I miss it right there. So, going into the second half, we have a one-point lead. And by the way, if you guys want to see the next episode, let's see if we can reach 600 likes. Actually, 700 likes. Could you guys, you guys absolutely smashed that like button in the last episode, the first episode. You guys absolutely killed the like button, and I appreciate that. You loyal, man. You smart. 
I appreciate. <laughs> but no, um, yeah, I actually really appreciate all the love that you guys showed. You know, not even from the last episode, just throughout the whole entire channel. You guys always showed love and support, and I, uh, yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> but um, yeah, as you can see, we're only down one point right now. We get a pretty, I mean, that was lucky right there. I thought, throughout, if you guys haven't noticed, Demar Rosen, he's been killing it. Throughout this series, not even the series, just throughout the game, and Paul George just slams it on him. I'm sorry, Kyle Larry, I didn't get, I didn't mean to do that. Well, I kind of did. You just got pulse drives, boy. And now Paul George on the board gives it up to George Hill from the mid range. I thought that was a three, but he, he stepped in, so mid range shot. Kenneth Ray playing that defense, it doesn't even matter. De DeMar Rosen, man, excuse me. DeMar Rosen, he has been killing it. DeMar Rosen. He's a guy that, you know, I would love to see him and Paul George work together. Because Paul George, he is a little bit like DeMar DeRozan in terms of athleticism, but he can actually hit the mid-range shot and the three ball. I guess DeMar can hit the hit the mid-range, but not really a, a great outside shooter. He's decent, whereas Paul George, he's a really good outside shooter and mid-range shooter. So if we got DeMar running at the two, Paul George running at the three, That'd be a pretty dope team right there. We almost get that steal. We did miss. And look at DeMar. Drawing the foul and the bucket. Got that to go. So, yeah. Going to the third, going to the last quarter, we are, we're down by about five points. So, it's time to step up now. Time to, it's time to put in that work. Paul George, look at that dish down to Jordan Hill for the easy layup. But, yeah, like I was saying, you guys are showing a lot of support. So, if you guys want to see the next episode of this series, um, where we hopefully make some trades just to see who... Well, not even, I don't even know. I think we'll make some trades, but we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, if we can reach 700 likes, I'll upload the next video immediately. I also have a... I, I also... Oh, this video is going to be crazy. I have a Carmelo Anthony My Career Free Agency episode. Which team do I go? You guys will have to find out. That video will come out tomorrow, I think. So, yeah, get ready for that. But as you can see, we're doing some work right now. Paul George is trying to lead this team... And uh, yeah, I mean, he is doing a pretty good job right now. We're only down by one. He gets us the lead with about three minutes remaining in this game. 73 to 72. That was a nice layup right there by Damari Carroll. The Hawks are missing Damari Carroll. I'm not even going to lie. We play some great defense on Demar DeRozan. Kenneth on the board. This is up to CJ Miles. Down to Paul George, who gets the layup. I thought he was going to dunk that home, but he gets the layup. And you know... He had to score in that possession because he's a clutch player. Speaking of clutch, DeMar DeRozan draws the foul and the contact. He's been getting a lot of and ones in this game. He's been killing it. I have to fast forward this because he does miss the free throw. I almost, missed the, I almost missed the rebound, but I did get it back. So now it's a tie game. 1 minute 20. I'm putting the moves on DeMar DeRozan. Paul George getting with the cross. Getting with the through the legs. Out to CJ Miles. And that's cash all day. You can't stop a 93-point shooter. When he's wide open. I mean, that's too easy. DeMar DeRozan, he's been clutch for the Raptors, though. Getting that layup to go. And then we got Paul George. Just kind of, that, was a, that was nice. He just cuffed it in. He just went all the way. DeMar DeRozan and Paul George, they're just battling it out right now in uh, the Air Canada Centre. And now it's time for the foul game. They foul PG. So he's at the line for two. Makes both free throws. 83-80. to 80. Kyle Lowry inside. Gets denied by Jordan Hill. Not in my house. Boy, you already know. And that's pretty much the game right there. DeMar couldn't hit that three until it's over. We win the first game of the season up against the Toronto Raptors. Paul George led his paces to victory, dropping 32 points, 11 assists, and 8 rebounds. He just had a Paul George game right there. I'm running for MVP in this My Jam series. I'm not even going to lie. I want, I want Paul George to get that MVP. DeMar played really well, dropping 24 points. He did have 24 attempts, but... Played a pretty good game. Um, Kyle Lowry only went 1 for an 8, so he didn't play too well. Paul George, yeah. 12 for 21, 32 points, 8 rebounds, and 11 assists. CJ Miles surprised me. Kenneth was beasting. I, I think Kenneth played really well with 3 blocks, 8 rebounds, and 11 assists. Uh, not 11 assists, 11 points. Jordan Hill, almost um, a double-double. 10 and 7. George Hill played okay. Miles Turner didn't really get too many minutes, but when he did, he kind of played all right. I went one for f one for four with Monte Ellis, and then we just had a whole bunch of guys that didn't get any minutes. But what I need to do is get a backup point guard, because at the moment, we don't have a backup point guard. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and in the next episode, we, we might be making a trade for a backup point guard. So I recommend you leaving a like, commenting down below. I'm out. Peace.